Over 250 million years ago, Earth looked completely different from the world we know today. Most of the land was connected, forming one huge supercontinent called Pangea. Volcanoes were everywhere, and the planet was hotter and drier than it is now. Strange and amazing creatures live in this ancient world. Creatures we've never seen before. This was the beginning of the age of dinosaurs. In the Triassic period, about 250 to million years ago, Many new forms of life began to appear on Earth. In the Jurassic period, around 201 million years ago, dinosaurs increased in variety and gradually grew larger. In the Cretaceous period, about 145 million years ago, many dinosaurs thrived across the land. Okay. Everyone get ready. Here comes today's dinosaur. Today's dinosaur is a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus lived around the end of the Jurassic period in North America. It was about 7 to 9 meters long. It weighed 3 to 5 tons. That's as heavy as a big truck. And it was a herbivore. Now, let's take a look at the Stegosaurus. The first thing you notice is definitely the big plates lined up across its back. They are shaped like pentagons. They look like cool shields. Look closely. They aren't lined up perfectly straight, they are arranged alternately in a zigzag pattern. Why did it have these big plates? Actually, recent ideas about them have changed a bit. They were once thought to be armor to protect it from enemies, but it was discovered that the plates were not very strong bone. Instead, the bone of these plates had lots of thin grooves. This proves that blood vessels passed through them. This means these big plates are thought to have been an amazing heater and cooler to regulate its body temperature. They might also have used the plate's color to recognize others, or change the plate's color by altering blood flow to threaten enemies or attract mates. However, the Stegosaurus also had a most powerful weapon for truly defending itself against enemies, that is the sharp spikes on the end of its tail. It had as many as four of these spikes, which are called by the cool name, Thagomizer. Its spikes could grow up to 90 centimeters, and if a meat-eating dinosaur attacked, it would swing its tail like a powerful whip to chase the enemy away. Look! A meat-eating dinosaur, an Allosaurus is coming. For a meat-eating dinosaur, a herbivore's neck and throat are the best targets. Being bitten there would be fatal. But the Stegosaurus properly defended that vital spot. It had armor made of many small bones clustered together in its throat area. This armor was embedded under its skin, and it is thought that these hard bones helped to firmly protect its neck when a predator tried to bite it. The Stegosaurus had amazing weapons all over its body, but it had another interesting feature. That is its small head. The Stegosaurus's brain was once thought to weigh as little as a walnut, but it is now believed to have been about the size of a chicken egg. It's incredible that such a small brain controlled such a massive body. And what about its diet? It had small teeth lining its mouth and slowly ate plants close to the ground, rather than leaves from tall trees. 
Let's finish up with a little quiz. What shape are the plates on the Stegosaurus's back? Circle, square, pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. It's the pentagon. Great job, everyone. I wonder what dinosaur we will meet next time. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Big thumbs up. Hit subscribe.